going on, everybody? Matt Passaccio here for WMCT TV and WMCT Sports, and welcome to another episode of the Senior Spotlight Show, where we bring different student athletes from different athletic programs throughout the city of Marlboro, bring them here in studio, and introduce them to you. And our guests here today are the senior captains from the Marlboro High softball team. We've got Catherine Say, Carly Burgos, and Lexi Lockett de Leon. Ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, thank you for, for having, having us. us. No, not a problem at all. Um, the Panthers are 9-6 and six on the season, uh, currently tied for third in the Midwatch B standings with a handful of games to go in the regular season. Um, but before we talk about anything on the field, as usual, we try to get to know them a little bit as students in their senior year. So, Catherine, you know, we'll start with you. How's senior year going for you so far? It has actually been going really well. Um, I'm enjoying myself. You know, I haven't, I haven't been getting sad yet, per se. Um, <laughs> I've, just, I've really been enjoying myself. Um, I've been hanging out with my friends a lot. School, I had a very easy school year this year. Um, very grateful for that. Um, and I'm just really looking forward to playing college softball next year. So I'm just full steam ahead, very excited. Cool, cool, good for yeah. you. Um, uh, plans to attend? Uh, Southern New Hampshire, yeah. Good for you, awesome. Yeah, I'm very excited. That's great. And now, you know, we've got a couple of weeks left in the school year, you know, uh, other things to look forward to, also like prom. Are yes. you planning on attending? <laughs> uh, yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, the I'm... three of you guys have yes, your, yes. your dresses all planned out? Yes, that kind of yes. Stuff? Was that a got stressful it. process at all, Carly? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. I've I've never been really stressed about that. This year was like the first year I actually like went somewhere to like try it on, but like I'm not usually stressed. <laughs> cool, cool. Now the day of though, I'm sure a little added oh. level of anxiety, <laughs> makeup, hair, all that kind of stuff. Lexi, yeah. is that gonna be kind of oh, like a yeah. stressful part of it? <laughs> There's more than that. We gotta go over friends' houses, take photos. It's very stressful. <laughs> I imagine. I imagine it would be. Well, that's cool. I hope that you guys have uh, just a wonderful time at that. Thank you. Thank you're you. Welcome. Thank you. Um, oh, Carly, uh, you're a member of the National Honor Society. Um, you're also involved in unified basketball, yes. from what I hear. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about that experience and how you got involved? Yeah. So unified basketball, I got involved because my cousin, he actually lives next door. He's autistic, and I kind of just wanted to like be involved with that kind of thing as much as I can. And it's so much fun. And I love all the kids and all the people that are in it. And yeah. you get a lot of different opportunities. Absolutely. I mean, I, I volunteered. My brother okay. is autistic as well. And he, you know, growing up, there weren't like a lot of different opportunities to, to really help out. We had some like bowling leagues and different yeah, things yeah. like that. And I'm sure you feel the same way is that you know that you're having an impact on them, but it's really the impact that they're having on you yeah, and giving you yeah. perspective on things, right? Yeah. And like, especially since I helped out with Unified Basketball at the middle school, it was like the first year that they did that. And seeing like how they grew and like all that stuff, it's kind of cool to watch. That's great, so yeah. really good for you. Uh, so Lexi, uh, I hear that you're in the EMT program of Marlboro High, right? Yes, I am. Uh, can you talk to me a little bit what, about what inspired you to get involved with it? Um, in all honesty, I was a little lost sophomore, junior year. I didn't really know what I wanted to get into. Um, I really like to try new things and challenge myself. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I took it and I love it. That's awesome. I get to experience so many things. I get to be with the police station, fire department, the hospital. So I get to learn, learn a lot of new things. But um, this kind of set me on a right path. Good. Of course, I'm still stuck. Um, personally, I like to act. So, you know, I'm in between going for paramedicine or going to performing arts school. Well, at least you have a couple of different things that you have an interest in that will help yes. kind of allow you to, at some point, make a good decision for yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Good for you. Thank good you. Good luck to you. Um, and Catherine, you are a dual sport athlete. Yes. Obviously crushing it in uh, softball. <laughs> um, and you're also a member of the, the National Honor Society. Yep. Um, can you just kind of talk to me a little bit about, you know, the focus it takes to be able to be so successful in those two realms? Um, so, I mean, with National Honor Society, obviously you have to maintain a certain grade point average. Um, but honestly, I just, I try my best to stay focused in all my classes and I have amazing teachers and, you know, a circle that I can, um, you know, kind of count on. Yeah. If things get tough, um, my teachers are always super understanding, you know, if I need help with an extra assignment and I'm always willing to stay after school if I need help with something. Um, and my athletic coaches are always super understanding if I need to be late to practice, so that also helps. Um, but yeah, it's just, it, it's very rewarding. Like when I finish a really hard assignment or get a really good grade on the test, and you know, I also do well in the field, it's really nice to see that all kind of pan out. That's 
great, it really is. Um, is there any teacher in particular that you feel is like mm -hmm. really helpful? Oh. Um, my science teacher, uh, Miss Riley, I had her for um, AP Bio last year and AP Environmental this year. Um, she is quite literally the best teacher I've ever had. Like she makes everything so easy for us to understand. Um, and then Miss Knight, my history teacher, <laughs> year, she's just so great. I love talking to her. If I need to get something off my chest, I can always go see her. That's so, really yeah. sweet. Carl, is there a teacher that maybe you uh, would like to give a little bit of recognition to? Um, my, well, actually, why I liked math so much is because of my eighth grade teacher, Mr. Gordon. He, like, he just had, he had everything just down pat. Like, he was probably one of, one of the best teachers I had. Very cool. Lexi, about you? Anybody that uh, kind of, kind of was a fun <laughs> teacher or somebody that, you know, kind of inspired you to? <laughs> Mr. Bredberg, okay. my history teacher. He's the most chilled teacher you'll ever come across. And his room was just so comforting and homey feeling. Yeah. It's really nice. Which is, nice which is so important academically to have mm -hmm. a comfortable classroom where you have the opportunity to, to, you know, gain an interest in something and really focus. You know, mm -hmm. that's awesome. exactly. good for you guys, really. Um, but we're going to switch gears here and start talking about stuff on the field. Um, you know, Carly, can you talk to me a little bit about uh, Coach Michaela and, you know, your relationship with her and how she's helped you develop? So I was first coached by her actually not in softball. I was coached by her in field hockey which is for sure. there you go but um but then like off of that then I found her in softball and it was just like her first year was our first year so it just like through the four years like she's like seen us grow and she's she's very very knowledgeable about the game and she looks at it through a coach's perspective and she was a player so we get that perspective too and it just all just helps us and being the daughter of a coach a very successful coach you know that obviously helps um can you uh um Catherine, talk to me a little bit about you know your uh, relationship with coach Michaela? so yeah um go, backtracking on what carly said um she started off coaching our freshman year so you know us little freshman players <laughs> super tiny and you know <laughs> Michaela also having just started out kind of I think brought a little comfort to us yeah because you know it wasn't like we were looking at this big scary coach who's been there for ages and has a reputation you know like it was a blank slate for all of us to start off on um, and I mean she's super funny I think <laughs> some people don't really get to see that side of her but Definitely. she can crack a joke if need be but she can also be very strict and um, give you know constructive criticism when need be so yeah it was great it seems like that's kind of like a galvanizing experience for all of you to kind of come in together you know i'm sure yeah. that you know like lexi that you guys have kind of helped her with her development almost as much as she's helped you with yours mm -hmm. that's why i feel this is gonna be the hardest goodbye like group of kids she had um because it's been a ride i mean the first year we were there we had no pitcher at all and she asked if anybody knew how to pitch. Me and Carly they raised our hands real slowly, and you know, so and from they killed that, it, by the way, killed it. Thank you, Kat. You're uh -huh. welcome. From that, we got to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with her. Um, you know, she gave us more attention because you know we're just trying it for the first time. Of course. But she's a really great coach, and I'm glad she got to coach me. That's awesome. Um, now, you were named a captain. Um, by Coach Michaela and the staff, or by, was it uh, as a group decision with the team? Uh, team decision, Coach Final say. Okay. Um, so being a captain, voted on by everybody in the, in the club, you know, what is that, how does that make you feel? For me, um, it feels really special because in my past, I used to be, you know, not the best um, personality-wise, but I was able to do 180 and... I was elected captain, and that really, you know, boosts my confidence a lot and makes me happier to play the game, happier to be there, and teaches me more leadership skills, I think. Yeah, um, and what does being a leader mean to you? Like, how does, that, how does that manifest itself while you're at practice, when you're at games? You know, can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yeah, I believe it's more about setting a good example, you know, lifting people up. Um, sometimes it gets hard, no one wants to talk, but. That's what we're here for, to make sure everyone stays up, everyone stays in the game. Um, it can be hard sometimes, but I think it's a very necessary thing to have on the team. 
And I like these group of people. I think we do a good job. <laughs> I like you too. <laughs> That's a very nice answer. Um, Carly, uh, you know, every team has somebody on it that doesn't quite get the recognition that they deserve. An unsung hero, if you will. Mm -hmm. You know, do you think that there's somebody on your team that fits that bill? Um, I feel like Taylor Allery, probably. She's, she's very, you can put her pretty much anywhere and she, she rocks it anytime. You like, you need a hit, like she's got it. Like she's pretty much. Like, can I add to that? Of course Actually, you can. She <laughs> hustles no, all of no, the no, time. No, no. <laughs> Scared me for a second. No, no she hustles all the time. Yeah. She's always dying. 100% all out. When nobody all else is, you can trust that she is doing it. Yeah. She's Super definitely dependable. unsung here. Yes. It's been a word we've been talking about a lot recently. With Dependability, <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. Very nice. dependable. Good answers. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, and Catherine, uh, in a career now that spanned four years with, I'm sure, countless great games <laughs> and moments, um, are, is Funny there games. one game or one moment that kind of sticks out in your mind as being special or more special than any other? Oh, gosh. Um, I... Oh, actually, yeah. I think it was freshman year we played Shrewsbury in a CMAS game. I actually think that you were there recording that game. I think you were there. That was... <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, we were freshmen. That was the most intense game I have ever been in and still had, an, like, a positive impact on the game. Yeah, right. Um, I, I had so much fun playing, and I just... It was... So great to give that give the seniors one more game that year, because mm -hmm. um, you know COVID kind of screwed everything up. Sure. So you know we had to kind of grasp for what we had, yep. um, but we just made that huge comeback. I th yeah, we made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we made the, if I'm not mistaken, that was the game where Jess had the walk off. Yes, and yes. yeah, yes. And there's yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. yes, oh my yes. god, that's it. Yeah. WMCT Sports, baby, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. That was definitely. I think that had to be yeah. my favorite moment. That was yeah. a good one. Yeah. I like that one. Um, now we're going to, again, switch gears, and we are going to uh, transition into the quote portion of the interview. Um, I have quotes um, from Coach Michaela and their athletic director, Jeff Rudzinski, uh, affectionately known as Ruds. <laughs> yes. And uh, yes. I will read it to them, and then we'll get their reaction. Uh, so, uh, Carly, we'll start with you. Okay. This is from Coach Michaela. Okay. Carly has demonstrated everything a coach could possibly want in a player the last four years. She is the first to volunteer to help. She goes through every drill with intention, and she can play any position on the field. She has been a real source of consistency and dependability, dependability, dependability. dependability. <laughs> for Marlboro softball for four years. Although she expects a lot from herself, she seems to always put a positive spin on everything, and it's a great thing for younger players to, players to see. Excuse me. You can always see, or you can always feel, a sigh of relief when the ball is hit in her direction. I have no doubt she will find success in her future relationships and career. Everyone was so nervous when the ball got hit to me, so that's a... <laughs> <laughs> now that's this is... real, though. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the oh. quote from uh, uh, Rudds. Carly is a tremendous role player and team player. She has played multiple positions in her high school career and always willing to move positions to help her team. Carly always has a smile on her face and will always, oh, she'll be sorely mixed next year. So, hearing that kind of stuff, how does that make you feel? That's sweet. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, you didn't that expect that. That makes me feel that? happy. No, I was not <laughs> expecting that. You know, just that to just happy. to have these people that have seen you play and, and grow and develop not only as an athlete but as a person over four years. Just it just must be really nice to hear things like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all I have to say about that. No, that's cool. That's cool. All right, Lexi, it's your turn. Oh, from, from Coach Michaela. <laughs> Lexi has started for this team every year and has made some incredible plays in the field for us in several different positions. Lexi has always gone, uh, she's always gone up to the plate with determination and can really crush the ball. One thing I love about Lexi is that she's always looking to improve. Although we've had some successful seasons, we've also had some frustrating moments and Lexi's growth as a leader has been outstanding. She really has grown to be a model of how to act in tough situations. She has always been strong physically, but how she has developed a sense of mental toughness in her first team vision is really admirable. She has taken on a leadership role long before she had the title of captain. 
Her teammates have become very comfortable relying on her, and she does not disappoint. I see her being a girl boss <laughs> and running a company like a well-oiled machine someday. And from Ruds, it's true. Lexi has always done what's, what's been asked and what's best for the team. She shows up with a positive attitude and always encourages her teammates. She, too, will be missed. <laughs> I love that. That is very uplifting. It really <laughs> makes me feel better. It's just they um, literally said what you were saying. You know, it's just yeah, pretty much. Validation, though, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, for the improvements that you've made, um, you know, physically being able to transition from not really being a pitcher to being a pitcher that the team relies on, from maybe not having the best attitude when you're a freshman or a sophomore, but mm -hmm. seeing that transformation from being somebody that can't be relied on that yeah. can be. I mean, and seeing people recognize it and it's got to make you feel great that that was what I wanted what I was you know <laughs> wanted the outcome to be is for everyone to see the change you know well, congratulations people have <laughs> yeah, Lex. look at uh, you Lex all right uh, Catherine your turn oh, boy and Catherine from coach Michaela <laughs> if these three girls have been the heart and soul of MHS softball over the last four years Catherine is what keeps that heart beating Catherine is able to play at a very competitive level all you have to do is glance at her stats. And I'm just going to say them very quickly because they are <laughs> outrageous. She's batting nearly 600 at 595. She's got 11 home runs and 29 RBIs. And I'm looking at the Telegram stats. I mean, some people might have nearly as many RBIs. Maybe a couple of people have as good of a, a batting average. But no one comes close to 11 <laughs> home runs. I think the next closest person is like five or six. Yeah. That's incredible. It, it truly yeah. is. And I know I was telling them before, I maybe had 10 home runs my whole life playing <laughs> a 10 softball league and stuff like that. So, all right, sorry for the tangent. No, no, it's okay. But, uh, all right, let me, I appreciate let, me, let, me, let me find my place. All you have to do is glance over at her stats. After her freshman year, her teammates voted her captain, and she's been leading this team officially for three years. I trust her judgment on and off the field. She's just got a great head on her shoulders. She expects 10 times more out of herself than any el anyone else I know. When the chips are down, Catherine gets the job done. She pushes through injury and frustration like a champ. For four years, this team could trust that Catherine was going to give her all whenever she stepped onto the field. We talk a lot about ownership and resiliency. Catherine embodies our ideals and even bounces back from some of her mistakes. There's not much more that I could have asked for her in these three years as a captain. She's driven to succeed and drives her teammates to be better. She understands the value of hard work and loves the game. I am sure she will apply that level of dedication to whatever her life brings her, and she'll continue to find herself on top of whatever game she chooses to play. And from Ruds, Catherine is a tremendous leader, always one to lead by example. She is a team first player, always doing what is best for the team before herself. She has been a tireless worker and has brought her game to an incredible level. She's a great role model for the younger players, and someone who will be greatly missed. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't I, cry now. I'm not going to cry. I, uh, <laughs> Do that for senior night tomorrow. That is just a, a wonderful thing to have anybody yeah. say to you. Do, do you have any type of response to that? I am just so grateful for, you know, both of them. Um, it just, I think, like they both said, it just feels so good to hear that sometimes because, you know, throughout the season, everyone's working towards their own goals, but it's nice to kind of take a take a sec, sit back, and really just, you know, let people know, like, how much you appreciate them. Mm -hmm. That's really great. I mean, congratulations to the three of you on being such exemplary, um, you know, student athletes and being people that are role models in your community at Marlboro High. Like, really, congratulations to the three Thank of you. you. Thank you. Um, we're going to close out the interview uh, with our shout-out section of the interview. Um, Catherine, we'll start with you. Um, who has helped you to get to this point? Um, well, I'll definitely have to start off with my mom, my dad, because you know they drove me to every single practice, every single game. Um, you know, up until last year when I could drive. But, um, <laughs> so I could not have done it without them. They've been great. They're always there when I need them. Um, my club coach, Mike Roy, has been such a good help for me. Um, he really got me started um, in the process of getting recruited to go play in college. Um, and if tough love was a person, that would be Mike. He 
is so hard on me, but it clearly has paid off um, so much. Um, so he's great. And then, um, I don't know, these girls, they've been great. So, I'm, oh. yeah, it's going to be sad <laughs> to leave them, but I think our senior year was great, and I couldn't have asked for anyone better to be captains with. Oh. Very nice. Okay. Carly, your <laughs> turn. Who would you like to shout out? Um, well, my mom and my dad, they, my dad was my coach from when I was little, little to <laughs> like two years ago. Her coach too. Hey, mom, um, for one year. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah that was actually, my dad did a little full circle moment. Um, he really, he, he coaches me still now. <laughs> Just, yeah. Just the, 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 life, the life of a dad and a coach. Yeah. I mean, he's, you're he, gonna get the advice whether you like it or not. Yeah, exactly. He just can't not, but like in, like all honestly, like it truly does help. And it makes him feel good that like he gets to coach and be around sports still because that like wasn't really something he could do when he was younger. My mom is just always cheering. Just oh yeah. Always. Yeah. Just you hear you hear a voice, probably, probably my yeah. mom. <laughs> um my sister, she also plays on the team. She's right. a pitcher. Um she's I love her. I love her. She um <laughs> I've played with her through, for years and years and years, and it it's gonna be weird not playing with her anymore. Um, and Coach Marissa, I oh, she, yes. Coach oh Marissa is probably one of the like best like people to just talk to if you need to vent like anything. Like she she is the person, and then obviously these these girls. Yeah. I love that. If you don't mind, I do want to tail end off of that <laughs> because Marissa is truly so amazing. Yeah. And she's also been with us mm -hmm. for four years. Yes, she I started, she her started year, where? Yeah. Um, our freshman year, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, she she's amazing too. So I'm we needed to recognize her. So don't tell her I said this, but she's hilarious. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can <laughs> tell her. Yes. You gotta bleep that out. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Lexi, how about you? Is there anybody else or anybody that you would like yes. to uh, shout out? I would like to shout out, obviously, my parents because we've been playing softball since we were kids. They had to bring us everywhere. Um, but especially my dad, Josh, um, he, you know, supported me since day one, since I started, and I really appreciate that. He showed me how to be tough. On that topic, Carly's dad. Also, Angel, <laughs> he showed me how to be extra tough. Um, I had him for, he was my coach for basketball. Um, Way to go, dads. <laughs> he really, he really pushed me. Shout out girl dads. Yeah. Girl dads. <laughs> um, he really pushed me and made me stronger. They both did, and I really appreciate that. Um, also, these girls, these are my day ones, obviously. <laughs> um, and our coach always says at practice, make your partner better. And they definitely make me better, and I really appreciate that. Wow. <laughs> These are usually really nice um, portions of the interview, but this is a top three, <laughs> top two <laughs> shout out yes. portion so of, of, uh, of the interview. I, um, really, thank you to the three of you for, for taking some time and coming in and, and talking with us and allowing me to help introduce you to the rest of the community here in Marlboro. Of course, um, of course. Good luck to you guys the rest of not only the season. Uh, best of luck at prom and graduation. Yeah. Yeah. I, will, I will be there at the graduation, helping to cover for it for the uh, for awesome. the station. We'll be Perfect. covering that live, so I will see you then. We'll be in good hands. Yeah, uh, you know. <laughs> and uh, and best of luck, whatever postseason games that you guys get a chance to play. I'm sure you'll crush it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. You're very welcome. Well, that is going to wrap it up here uh, for the Senior Spotlight Show. This interview, like the rest of them uh, that we've ever done over the last couple of years, is available on our website at wmct-tv.com and all of our social media platforms. So once again, for Lexi, Carly, and for Catherine, I'm Matt Passaccio, and we'll see you next time.